Scottish National Party attempts to distract attention away from their own failures are doomed according to one commentator who claims the SNP must face its own dismal record. The comments come in light of SNP's Westminster leader Ian Blackford intends to table a motion of censure against the Prime Minister, to concentrate the focus of the House on his personal failings as leader of Her Majesty's Government. However, Elliot Wilson, writer and co-founder of strategy and PR consultancy firm Pivot Point, slammed Mr. Blackford saying, Blackford is not a man short of bluster, speaking of the reputation that the SNP representative seemingly fails to enjoy in the Houses of Parliament, Mr. Wilson said, when he rises to speak at Prime Minister's questions on a Wednesday, there is an audible groan from all sides of the House. In an attempt to tarnish the reputation of the Prime Minister, Mr. Blackford said, unless he faces consequences for his disastrous actions, he won't just think HES gotten away with the mess he has made of the last few months, he will think he can do it all over again. Quote dot. The SNP then tweeted the motion to be debated on Tuesday would underline the fact that Scots had no confidence in Boris Johnson's leadership. Mr. Wilson writing in The Telegraph also said, while the SNP seeks to demonstrate no confidence in the government, it is not, as some incautious souls may have incorrectly assumed, tabling a motion of no confidence, he added, instead, Blackford will table a motion of censure. A broader and less formal instrument which usually comes in the form of an early day motion. Motions of no confidence have specific consequences, and that is emphatically not the SNP's style. However, the act appears to be about to backfire on the SNP. Mr. Wilson suggested, quite apart from the Prime Minister facing them, it is the SNP leader who is afraid of them. He knows that a motion of censure will be defeated, and defeated heavily.